Twitter is celebrating its eighth birthday today, a huge milestone for the microblogging site. Joining us now to share some of Twitter's biggest moments over the past eight years is online producer Yulia Talmazan. Yulia, I can't believe that it's been around for eight years. That's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah, it's hard to believe, uh, and it's hard to believe how much of an integral part of our lives Twitter has become. About 500 million tweets get sent out every day and about 240 million people use it every month. And of course Twitter has grown in its role and uh, it's uh, used uh, quite a bit and you know it's a driving force behind many of the recent revolutions and uprisings. It has been used as a weapon of dissent and in fact as we speak people in Turkey are fighting for their access to Twitter uh, because Turkish Prime Minister vowed to quote wipe out Twitter following damaging allegations of corruption in his inner circle. So just a perfect case for um, the role of Twitter in helping spread uh, the freedom of speech. And it's also sort of a default place to break news. Uh, you may remember back in 2009, the miracle on the Hudson. Uh, it was the first TwitPic that was used to capture real-time breaking uh, news and kind of revolutionized the way we're breaking uh, news and gather news uh, nowadays. You also may remember this tweet. This uh, is from the night Osama bin Laden's compound in Pakistan was raided and he was subsequently killed. The tweet said helicopter hovering above Ab uh, Abbottabad at 1 o'clock and this was actually the tweet uh, that uh, the person who tweeted this had no idea they were actually live blogging the raid. Wow. And uh, of course celebrity power is also huge on Twitter. You can't forget the selfie from the Oscars uh, just uh, earlier this month. Uh, this essentially broke Twitter. Uh, Twitter was offline for a while after uh, Ellen DeGeneres tweeted this and she said the record for most retweets. So we can go through the highlights uh, from the history of Twitter all day long, Sonia. Uh, <laughs> but uh, there is now uh, a interactive uh, component uh, to mark uh, the anniversary of Twitter, where uh, there is a website now where you can go and plug in your Twitter handle and figure out what your first tweet was. Of course, yeah. It's certainly a great way to kind of look back and, uh, no, sorry, I interrupted you here. You have one tweet that you're showing us just setting up from, who's Jack? <laughs> yeah, this is actually the founder of Twitter, oh, okay. uh, Jack sorry. Dorsey. So that was actually the very first tweet ever. Uh, and uh, yeah, he just said, setting up my Twitter. That was back on March 21st, 2006, so exactly eight years ago. Uh, and uh, Barack Obama's first tweet was from April of 2007. He said, thinking, uh, we're only one signature away from ending the war in Iraq. So it gives you a bit of perspective. Wow. Uh, Warren Buffett's famous first tweet, uh, one of my favorites, uh, Warren is in the house. Uh, this is from May of last year. So pretty late to the game there, Warren. But uh, another late adopter uh, who's now taking Twitter by storm is Pope Francis. Uh, this is from March of last year. He said, Dear friends, I thank you from my heart and I ask you to continue to pray for me. So this was from when he was elected. Very a very formal tweet from the Pope, <laughs> hey? But I know that you have some of uh, some familiar faces, uh, their first tweets, uh, some of the Global BC families. That's so, right. So let's see what uh, what some of those were. We just couldn't resist. I yeah. It's too much fun. So our first tweet is actually from you. <laughs> this was your first tweet. Uh, and um, there you go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Do you Giving remember, Twitter do you remember some this? Mad following today. I don't really remember sending this out, but I do remember thinking, feeling a little bit frantic like I needed to get followers I needed yeah. to get this set up and yeah it was fun that was what I think 2010 you told me right that's right and yeah. it looks like you got some very good tips because your following is pretty impressive at this point I think you have like 12,000 uh, followers so that's, that's pretty cool yeah <laughs> uh, news our anchor Chris Galis uh, this was his first tweet history made thanks for following as I take my first step into the Twitterverse already burned up 120 characters. Sophie Liu, our morning news anchor, back in 2008, so she's one of the early adopters, said, figuring out Twitter, Rick Sanchez is doing it, why can't I? <laughs> and Steve Darling's first tweet was this beautiful picture <laughs> of himself. I like that. <laughs> I mean, I, he didn't even attach any message to it, did nope, he? No, it was just okay. uh, the link to the tweet pic. Very bold. You just figure it out yourself. <laughs> and uh, Sam Folk from, uh, from the Morning News as well, uh, and BC1, she takes the prize for the best second tweet because her first tweet was a retweet, but this is her first uh, original tweet, and this is Seth Rogen sitting in your chair, Sonia. There you go. I feel like royalty right now. Hey, That's right. sharing and the same people, seat as Seth Rogen. <laughs> That's right. For people who don't know the background of this, uh, they were shooting a movie right here in our uh, green studio. So uh, uh, there you go. All right. A very interesting look back. Yulia, thanks so much for sharing that with us today. You're welcome.